one off to press news. The ATCF system says that Invest 90L now has winds of 40 miles an hour and a pressure of 1,005 millibars. A naming may well be imminent. Who knows? It's up to the National Hurricane Center. It's at 19.5 degrees north, 87.6 degrees west at this time. And tropical cyclone development is likely sooner or later. 90% from the National Hurricane Center at the moment, but information may change quickly. This is the forecast from the GFS model over the weekend and you can see it trying to wrap together and eventually it does and becomes a tropical storm according to it on Monday making landfall just west of Pensacola uh, and then moving inland and probably darting off towards the northeast according to the consensus for the GFS but there are outliers in the GFS model ensemble runs. Here it is right now, 19.5 degrees north, 87.6 degrees west. It puts it on the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula right now. Still a tropical low, as last we knew as of 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. No tropical-related watches or warnings are in effect, but of course there are some gale warnings now in the Gulf of Mexico and some flood-related warnings, watches rather, uh, in Florida and beyond. These are the percentage chance of storm conditions over the next few days and you'll see the rain coming in. It will be a significant rain event regardless of what happens for all places concerned really. Uh, the whole of Florida nearly um, and then uh, neighboring states to the north and west as well. Uh, and as you can see there, 58% chance of storm conditions at Pensacola at the minute uh, on Monday. So that's sort of what we're looking at right now. The weekend period, the, sy the system will be developing in the Gulf. Monday, it will probably arrive in the very northern part of Florida into Alabama and Mississippi. Sea surface temperatures look like this, around 26 or 27 degrees Celsius. That's around uh, 80 Fahrenheit or so, uh, which is just on the threshold for tropical cyclone development. And here's the latest radar, some thunderstorms around the Keys, uh, but and just off the uh, coast of um, Alabama as well. But apart from that, it's looking fairly quiet. One or two very isolated systems off the off the east coast. Uh, these are what the National Weather Service offices are saying right now that's what it looks like on the keys 80 to 85 today the high and as you can see just about the northwestern side of the picture there the western side that gale warning out at sea uh, miami as you can see is uh, plugging the tropical development um, heavy rainfall across south florida may lead to flooding later this afternoon through monday with isolated tornadoes possible uh, the high temperatures in the tampa bay region there 85 or so along the west coast, warmer in the west today. Um, and looking further towards the northwest, you can see Jacksonville. As you can see, rainfall totals there. Today through Tuesday, hinting at three, maybe getting towards four inches that far north as well. And as you can see on the left-hand side of the image there, the latest warning map. And you can see all that green area. I think that's a hydrological outlook, water-related flood concerns and getting up to 90 in Tallahassee today and also some um, high surf advisories too near Panama City westward and also some flash flood watches I believe they are in the westernmost part of Florida into Alabama and one or two counties in Mississippi as well they're also looking at the tropical uh, outlook so here's the system right now. Wind shear is still pretty prohibitively high. Uh, it is sort of near a low pocket to the south. <clears throat> but as you can see further north, uh, low amounts of wind shear along the coast of Florida westward. Here's the imagery as day has been breaking this morning and you can just about see this system's circulation in inverted commas just off the coast of the Yucatan and uh, its general movement is very very slowly northeast I think uh, but really it's so slow at this point that we don't really have a direction for it but it will end up going north northeast or so and then into the Gulf northwards and then northwest and probably the most interesting graphic here the dry air you can see all of it moving through the Yucatan there which is preventing the storm from developing right now but maybe it will find its way through later you can follow Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already. Search Force 13. Subscribe if you haven't already for the latest updates. You can also find our Facebook page. Like us on there. And you can follow our Twitter feed. Search Force 13 all in text. That's our handle. You can also add our Skype account and my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094 for tropical weather chat. 
there will also maybe might be updates on Force 13's regional uh, channel as well, Force 13 US and Caribbean. Regardless, I'd check that out as well.